I'm such a fan. Welcome to the show. I'm such a fan of yours. That was awesome. Oh, thanks. It's amazing. You do that every day, don't you? You know what? We do. That's so cool. <laughs> but so everyone, everyone loved you in True Blood. I dressed up as a vampire this season, um, very last minute actually, and they made these teeth. SNL, they made these teeth for yeah. me to wear for uh -huh. the show. This is what I sounded like with the teeth. I think I spit on Kyle earlier and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so much saliva, I'm just saying. Plus the king of Afro be, oh, I got it. Uh-huh. Oh, I got Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is this Invisalign? What's happening? I literally, <laughs> it is like a little, but I was like, I can't sing a song like oh, this. You're but, fully committed yeah, right now. I'm committed. I don't know if I'll have to take them out for this interview because I'm eating the teeth right now, but it's fine. It, it, I am, like, I already loved you, okay, from the show, but like, it, it put on a whole new concept of how difficult that is. Yeah. Just with the amount of saliva yeah. that comes yeah. out. Yeah, and the thing is that, that, that you feel like a dog. You have to practice, right? You just, have, it's like anything, well, I right? I didn't, they put them in right before right. I went out. You yeah. have to practice, and, and so we would have practiced, but then you'd get like, you'd get people coming onto the show who, who were coming on for the first time. Yeah. And they'll be sitting around, you know, before before we were about to shoot or something, and somebody would be going, you know, what have you been doing? Oh, I just did like a couple of episodes of SVU, and I've got like a Will and Grace nice arc. Can you put your teeth in, please? And they were like, and now I'm really excited to be playing a vampire. Oh my god! Because it's a lovely show, and I, which and you're is like, not sexy. No. Yeah. You have to like. It needs to be sexy. And, and, the, and the little blades, you know, they come down and they hit your teeth. Yeah. They hit your 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 bottom lip. Yeah. And so you end up having to talk like, you know, like this so yeah. that you don't close your mouth properly. So that, yeah. you know. It's a very nice Southern yeah, little, I'm yeah, actually and I like it, I like it, yeah. I, I'm, what, I'm in like, the, yes you are. I was <laughs> like, what's happening to me right now? I was like, I can't stop staring. <laughs> but um, I heard that there might be a True Blood reboot. Would you be there, into that? There has been talk about this. And um, the, the problem is- I think is, it should happen. Well, I, I, look, I'm in. If you're watching, I'm in. And um, we all know what happened in the end, but it doesn't matter, you're a vampire. But the problem is that, you know, I am now 15 years older than when I started that show. No. And, and vampires aren't supposed to age. So hopefully... Oh! <laughs> so, so hopefully AI... This AI is going to be my together. friend here. Oh, my God, I just put that together. There could yeah. be some kind of something that ha they could work that in, I think. Uh, yeah. He's, Writers he's, are incredible. He's got some kind of aging disease. There's some, some kind of like <laughs> random age, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He hasn't had enough blood, I don't know. Um, but wait, so you met your wife, Anna Paquin, right? I did. At, at the, was it like really from the beginning of the show? Like that's where y'all first met? Um, or had y'all met before then? We, we met, we met um, to do uh, what's called what chemistry was that, read. Um, because there was a story behind the um. <laughs> Like, you you said to me, how long was it before, you know, it, it was yeah. pretty soon. It was pretty soon. Oh, you knew right away? Uh, I think I think the problem is that we were the only two out of towners shooting the pilot and everybody else lived in California. Everybody else lived in LA. Yeah. And and they put us in the same hotel. So so it's we their would, problem. I mean, you yeah. know, they yeah. they created this yeah. issue. Yeah. But we would go for breakfast and then we'd come back what they from were doing. work and then we'd have supper because, you know, we were there and it just sort of like, it was just like this, I don't know, this magnetism. We were just like... I love that. And if you watch the show, though, like those first few episodes when we're coming together, yeah. it's kind of like off the charts, kind of like... No, and, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very Crazy nice. chemistry. Tension is the most amazing thing in the world. Yeah. Anyway, you also have dogs, and yeah. um, the, I don't know if they're rescued or not, but you actually Rescue rescued dogs. your dogs. Yep. Yeah, I was, you so rescued when, when I was doing Sexy Beast, which I'm here for, yeah. I was, it was frozen, like, last January. Like, yeah. like, absolutely frozen. We were shooting in Liverpool. There's this beautiful lake slash pond, and I was walking the dogs, and they were off leash and wandering around, and my old dude, Banjo, Literally, just like, I turn around and he's in the middle of the lake. There he is, so that's him on the right. And he was in the middle of the lake, just standing on the ice. And I was, and he can't hear. Oh, he's And I'm dead. screaming at him and then suddenly, boom, through the ice. Oh, and, no. and he's flapping about and there's just the hole where he's gone through. And Dave, the idiot on the left, who's, <laughs> who's the, the black one, he's kind of gone do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I've pulled him out and, Somebody from the other side of the, uh, the lake was like, it, it, it's up to about here. It's up to about here. 
And so I was like, right, I'm going in. So I, I, I just literally jumped in, hadn't thought it through. So I then had to crash through the ice. To There's get... actually a picture on my Because when they fall through, they don't just fall right there, they go well, under. Went, and then he went under the ice. Yeah. And then I couldn't see him. And so I, I, I stomp through the ice and then I get to where the hole was and I'm just reaching and, I, and then I drag him out like, like a baptism. <laughs> and out he came. And, and my, my... Sexy vampire rescues dogs. <laughs> you would be a hit on Tinder. <laughs> so I did not know this, but you were raised in a musical household? Yes. Um, so, so my mum was a bit of a jazz singer and dad Amazing. played guitar. And that's my mum. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> Who's that cute little thing next to her? <laughs> um, so yeah, mum, mum was a bit of a singer, and we just, we just grew up in this house just full of jazz. And I'm talking like Dixieland, yeah. trad jazz. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't kind of very the thing where I'm from. You know, people didn't yeah. really do that, but I just wore those records out. You know, that was my. I love life. that influence, yeah. and it made you a musician as well. Yeah, and I, I, mum wanted me to play normal piano, and I hated it, and I. I did that thing that everybody does, like, please, uh, please don't make me learn the piano. I don't want to do yeah. it. Like, I know. did the same thing as a child. Oh, look, <laughs> that is me. Now, I'm wearing a pair of pants there that my sister would kill me for because she, she, she sees those raggedy old, like, <laughs> tracksuit bottoms. They're comfortable. And they're very comfortable. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, so I... <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> so I, um, yeah. I... When I was about 16 or 17, I, I, I had not played piano. I managed to walk away from it. And she said, yeah. you're going to regret this, you know, like they do. And then you did. And I did. Yeah. And I was walking down the, the, this, this uh, corridor at school one day, high school, and I heard this amazing jazz piano. And, and I walked into the room, and playing the piano in there was this math geek that I was, like, used to sit next to in math. I was not a math geek. Yeah. And, and he was this unbelievable piano player and I was just like you're doing that how do yeah. how do you do that and uh, <laughs> and so he he put me in touch with this really beautiful old dude who was about 75 who had been a jazz pianist for years and uh, was actually taught by Ralph Sharon who was Tony Bennett's accompanist wow and and I then started playing jazz piano from about 17 and he became like my surrogate granddad. I'd go and see him every week, wherever I was in the country, like when I was started becoming an actor and professional actor, yeah. I'd come back to his every Saturday and just to sit next to him and tell it's stories. It's so therapeutic, yeah, yeah, just to play too. Like even I, if you're not playing I, I like professionally it. there, it I, feels I good. I don't play as much as I should, but I love it. Yeah. All right, well explain Sexy Beast. What, what is this show? Uh, so f uh, film from about 99, 2000, 24 years ago, uh, Ben Kingsley got an Oscar nomination. Mm. Ray Winston, Ian McShane, um, and Ray's character lives in Spain, having been a successful, you know, villain. Mm -hmm. And it's a great movie. And we we've done a prequel, and it's set in the '90s. I love and a so prequel. we completely take these characters and bring them to the early '90s and before they've become successful. So it's them emerging as like sort of starting out to become that do their big first heist. Yeah. That's so and I play great. a very naughty character called <laughs> Teddy Bass, who's Naughty quite characters something. have to be way more fun to play. Yeah, yeah. honestly, it's the best. It's, yeah. Uh, I, I, the other ones are like boring. When I saw this dude and what he did and who he is and what he gets up to, yeah. I was just like, yes, that is. Please, yes, I want please. to do this. Yeah. Well, speaking of your character, though, you are very tan and you have dyed hair <laughs> for your role. Like, I think, do we have a picture? I think there we he is. Yes, you're very, now you can't tell from the lighting from that, but if you see it, it's, you're very tan. I'm very tan. So you're, you're, in, you're not so tan now, so you no. have to be tanning and like So like in spray. the 90s, people used to go and get sunbeds, right? People used to go tanning and get sunbeds. And, and so we decided that that's what the character did. But obviously we don't do that now. Yeah. So I went and did the spray tan thing, right? Yeah. And every Saturday, I would, and we were shooting in Liverpool, in England, and which is fantastic. I love Liverpool, and but I'd go to this little salon, this little beauty salon, and all the girls at the weekends in 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 Liverpool go and get make, go and get their tans done, and they've got their rollers in, and they're they're ready to go, and they go and get their tans done, and there's me next to them in my little tidy whities like. <laughs> And I've got, uh, and I've got, so I've got like this kind of Trump tan, Elvis's hair, <laughs> and it's a uh, nice look. Yeah, and and like, the, but the thing about that is like when you you sort of you know when you're leaving and you sort of catch yourself in the mirror and you go, holy, 
wrap that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to be that person. The only way that you can like exist, like in real life, yeah. is you have to be that person. Because otherwise, if you're like apologizing for being this, if you're meek yeah. with that tan and that hair, it doesn't it ain't add gonna up. Work. It doesn't add so up. So it kind of makes you like, it makes you walk differently. It makes you strut differently. Yeah. It makes you become the character. My character talks like with a London accent. A little entitlement. And a little bit of entitlement. And yeah. he's a bit nasty and he's a bit yeah. naughty. And, and suddenly you become that. And, and in Liverpool, they'll, they'll give you... Oh, I was going to say, yeah. they don't look like... I don't feel like when I go to Liverpool or in England, anybody looks They're going to give you a lot of... Yeah. You know, what is your are... wife, like your kids, like when you come home looking like an Oompa Loompa, <laughs> what, what does happen? Like, are they just, because my kids get embarrassed they of get, like the most yeah. random things. My, my kids just couldn't believe, put a hat on, Dad. Hide. <laughs> put a hat on, Dad. And, and so like hat, scarf, and then just this like, you know, very tan like bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Kids so are funny. so honest. Yeah.